There's been a lot of buzz about the new specialized S-Works Crux. Is it the one bike to replace everything? Let's find out. Most people have a road bike, a gravel bike, a mountain bike, and maybe a town cruiser. The Specialized S-Works Crux can probably replace all of them, and that's what we're gonna find out. Can this be the one bike to do it all? It's marketed as a gravel bike on its webpage, alongside the Specialized Diverge. The new Diverge STR is more for your all-terrain riding, but the Crux truly is where the magic happens. The reason being, it has enough capability to be very, very fast on the road, but with the right setup, you can ride it as gravel and even as a cyclocross bike. The Crux has its roots in cyclocross, and it's been ridden for many years to a number of national titles as well as many World Cups. However, the latest version of the Crux really comes out as more of a gravel setup. Straight out of the box, it comes with 38 seat tires, a one by chainring, and a 1044 cassette. That is set up mainly for gravel, even though you can revert back to its original cross roots with the right kind of tires as well as the right kind of gearing. The S-Works Crux is currently sold out on the Specialized website and it's been sold out for months. Obviously there's supply chain issues plus some other issues going on and it's a very, very expensive bike. At $12,000, it is definitely an investment. Mine is currently a 54 and it's sold out everywhere. It uses the FACT 12R carbon layup compared with the lower end model, which is the 10R carbon lamp. Basically what that means, it's supposed to be stronger, stiffer, and lighter. My bike is definitely all of those things, and it has a full SRAM red axis group to go with it. Here's how the bike is set up. This bike is so gorgeous out of the box. It comes with a set of Roval Terra CLX wheels, along with some Pathfinder Pro tubeless wet ready tires. It has a water bottle cage on the center as well as the down tube. It helps for a low center of gravity and with the 38s, it still has plenty of clearance on the seat stays as well as the front fork. It'll look very interesting if I put 30s or even 28s on there for when I get out on the road. The saddle that I use is the Pro Stealth saddle. It's the same saddle that's been used on the last two bicycles. It's the saddle that is maybe not the lightest, but works for me the best. It's a very personal choice when it comes to that. The only other piece of Shimano kit are the pedals. They are the Shimano XTR Classic mountain bike pedals. I added the Roval Alpinist one-piece cockpit. It's a 110 by 42 and I love the hand position on it. I have the brake levers canted in just for a little bit more aero and the cassette is an Explorer 1044. The jumps are rather big but I spin out at about 34 miles an hour at over 100 RPMs with a 40 tooth in the front. The brakes are classic SRAM Red Axis. It's got its UCI approved sticker on it, as well as my own personal stickers. The handlebar tape is Supercaz, and I chose this tape because I wanna continue with the classic black and white theme across the entire bicycle. It looks so good and it pops out in the sun. There is some vinyl tape used on the head tube as well as the down tube to protect from rocks. One thing I like about the S-Works Crux is its simplicity. It doesn't have any crazy angles on it. It's a bike that looks like it can stand the test of time and something you can ride for years and years to come as long as you take care of it. It doesn't have any hidden cables. It doesn't have any crazy parts in it. It comes with a threaded BB. It basically makes for a mechanic's dream or if you're handy around the house, you can do most things with it. It is not a bike that touts anything aero or anything low weight, but it does everything really, really well. It hits the climbs just like any climber would love. It corners amazingly and out of the saddle sprinting, 
it accelerates very fast. It's a very stiff bike, it's a very light bike. It's also a bike similar to the Athos, which has gained huge popularity with purists. One thing that Crux has that the Athos doesn't is the tire clearance. You can put up to 47C or 650B wheels on it, as well as clearance of up to 2.1 inches. The amount of tire clearance on it is pretty amazing. In terms of the weight, the S-Works version weighs 725 grams for the frame, as well as the Specialized version weighs just 100 grams more. Now, it is a fraction of the price, so do take note that you're trading off grams versus dollars, and you have to decide what's best for you. Right now, the tire clearance I have are the Pathfinder 38s. It's good for mostly gravel and mostly road, and it's a good all-around tire. I especially like the smooth patch in the center of the tire, as well as the light tread on the outside. It feels great if you pump it up to the right PSI when you're on the road and take about 10 to 15 PSI out when you're out on the dirt. Interestingly enough, when you look for the Crux on the Specialized website and you toggle between gravel and cross bikes, it comes up on both. Can this bike be the one bike to rule them all? Can it replace your entire quiver? Well, maybe. That depends on how much equipment you have. I'm sure if you swap out the tires, the wheels, as well as the chain ring from a single and go to a double, not to mention the rear cassette exploring different gear options, then you can have those options to run it on the road as well as gravel. And in some cases, some single track if you put a dropper post on there and wear some thick gloves. Of course, I couldn't resist doing a classic hub sound test. Listen to the sound of this Robo rear wheel. For now, we're gonna ride it as a gravel setup the way it was meant to be out of the box. And we're gonna see just how much we can do not only on gravel, but as road as well. If you like Specialized and you like the Crux, stay tuned for more as we're gonna explore more options with the bike in future videos. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, stay Veloworthy.